Bum, 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 bum. Snakes have a clitoris. Bum, bum. Snakes have a clitoris. Bum, bum. Snakes have a bum. Hey, welcome back to our stupid rakes. It's Luke Corbin. <laughs> That's true. It's a new study I read this week. Actually, they have two, which is it actually explains it's, the tongue thing. Those sexual you lying <laughs> piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> but they do. Apparently, snakes have a clitoris. Two clitorises. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> wow. Pick up your lung. Today we got a tourism video. Tamil Nadu. Yay! All inspiring arts and crafts of Tamil Nadu. This awesome. is actually by the official uh, Tamil Nadu t- awesome. t- tourism. Uh, uh, so she, I don't know. I don't we know. love our tourism videos. Uh, and to see beautiful, beautiful Tamil Nadu, uh, let's, without any more ado. You know what's really eye-opening? Tamil Nadu. Eyelids. Tamil Nadu, an ancient land rich in culture, arts, and its own unique crafts. Since the dawn of human civilization, this land has seen the pinnacle of excellence for the exemplary workmanship by its extraordinary craftsmen. The unbelievably intricate stone carvings and sculptures of this historic land still stand as a proud testimony to this artistic history. Wow. That ancient skill still runs through the veins of the sculptors today. As the stones shaped as they wielded to, metal stew melted themselves into lovable perfections in the hands of our most talented creators of metal idols. Transition. The bronze idols and statues made in Tamil Nadu are an extremely sought-after collectible by international connoisseurs. Woodcraft is another exquisite and exotic expression of arts and crafts of Tamil Nadu. Almost all of the carvings, sculptures, and objects chiseled here are solely, uniquely, and passionately wow. crafted by expert hands with love and care to perfection and detailing. Take skill, man. Out of wood. It's a lot of skill. Auntie. <laughs> Pottery. Another very ancient art of Tamil Nadu. I've always wanted to do that on a spinning wheel. Your mom does this all the time. Oh. Widely used to create beautiful toys. Vessels, sculptures, and many more collectibles of art. Porcelain creations of innumerable beautiful forms like and Sanjay figures Mistra. are another mature stream of artwork that has taken root in Tamil Nadu. made of reeds have become an adorable souvenir for the tourists who visit Tamil Nadu. The musical instruments of Tamil Nadu are the culmination of thousands of years of art and culture. string instrument mm. from which originates heavenly classical music 
can be seen sitting lovingly upon the laps of the most revered goddesses of this land. The amount of craftsmanship. Seriously. It's all hand. And your paintings, the traditional art form unique to Tanjavur, traces its origins well back to the year 1600 AD. Adorned with glittering gold foils, it is an art done with painstaking passion and patience. Extensive gesso work with an inlay of glass beads or rare semi-precious gems is a hallmark of Tanjore paintings. These paintings are rich and vivid in color and also carry a unique composition of alluring beauty in their intricacy. Kanchipuram silk saris of Tamil Nadu hold an international place of pride. These unique saris are crafted carefully with pure silk and gold zari work. are woven into stunningly beautiful and divine designs by skilled expert weavers of this unique craft. Come, indulge your senses with wow, this that's pretty. into the immensely diversified arts and crafts of this great and glorious land called Tamil Nadu. That was cool. That actually showed a different side of the, the, the tourism that we don't normally see. Yeah. The actual craft, which is always uh, incredible because it takes such skill. Mm -hmm. And it's all hand. It's yeah. All by hand. Yeah. Which is obviously everything here is basically done by machines still. Right. Except for like local people. Um, no, I agree. That was typically you see landscapes, mm -hmm. resorts, dancing, yeah. expressions of group culture. This was the first one I remember that's just sim simply focusing on some of the, the craftsmanship that you could see when you come there. And clearly, you could probably, if you love that kind of art, just get a guided tour through all of the places that do that kind of craftsmanship through Tamil Nadu. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, uh, we've seen it has beautiful places, similar to what Kerala looks like. Mm -hmm mountainous regions of beautiful waterfalls and and all that kind of stuff but it's it's cool to see all the different varieties there's so much history and culture oh my goodness because it's one of the oldest civilizations on the planet mm -hmm. and debatably the oldest language uh, the arguably the uh, oldest language um that's what the smart people say at least yep <laughs> i didn't do any research on that nope. uh, we trust that's what we've been told <laughs> it's either that or Mm, I bet a close second would probably be American English. Yes. Yeah. I'd, I'd say so. Yeah. Jesus spoke English. Oh. Everybody knows that. And was white. Yep. We all know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sarcasm. Uh, <laughs> in case uh, some of you don't know, and there are some of you <laughs> yeah. that don't know. Well, the scary thing is we live in a world full of incredibly stupid people who would say those things and mean it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like person on the street thing. Ask a girl a question who's probably about 19, 20 years old. Name countries in North America. One of her first answers. China. <laughs> Anyways, uh, fantastic video. If there's other tourism videos or other things about Tamil yeah. Nadu and or other places. Other regions. Please let us know what that should be uh, and let us know what they are down below. Just